Hey Taurus, is there someone or a situation that's like really affecting your mental health? Like this could be a relationship that you're in and your partner is, they're not respecting your dreams, your goals. They're making it seem like what you desire and what would be fulfilling to you is delusions of grandeur like it's impossible like you need to to calm down with all of that it's not realistic this could also be you know a job situation or just any situation that's not really good for you it's not making you feel good and you want to take some type of action towards this person or the situation and it could be hidden you know, you may your partner may not know you want to break up with them. Your partner may not know that you want to get out of the business. Um, you know, people around you may not know that you want a different career, you know, and there could be certain people who will try to talk you out of this, you know, but the Tauruses, I know once they got their mind set on something, they'll do it. And the longer they put it off, the worse they become, the worse they become mentally and emotionally. Some of you may be at that point. Before I go, the stars at the bottom of the deck in reverse, you could feel hopeless right now. Before I go any far further, I am your dope astrologer and tarot reader. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Be sure to click that subscribe button, especially if you like astrology and tarot and spiritual tips. So let's cut these cards and see what this is about that you don't feel hope about. And I said all of that in the introduction because Mars is... Um, at home in Aries right now and it will be conjunct or right next to the north node in Aries so this is really bringing out um, a lot of masculine energy whether you are male or female and that means whatever you want to do you're going to do it you don't really care and it could be at a point Taurus because some of you have a temper that you could go off on this person um, because they're not supportive or they're trying to make it seem like you don't know what it is that you're doing. You don't know what it is that you want. They could try to make it seem like, oh, Taurus is crazy. Taurus doesn't know what they're talking about. No, you know exactly what you're talking about. You've probably been thinking about this for a long time and it doesn't have to be anything bad. It could be just some type of physical move that you want to do something that you are really motivated to take action towards because we're talking about Aries energy. This energy, this actual conjunction happens on the 19th on Sunday. So as we build up to that day, it could become the feeling of that could become more and more intense. Okay. I made a post on my Instagram that said, if that man hasn't told you he don't want you he will over the weekend bottom of the deck this is your energy some of you don't feel like yourself some of you feel like you have to wear a mask at work or in this relationship or to the public some of you you could be living a life on social media that's not accurate that's not a, a true representation of who you are this could also mean some type of lack of stability mental stability financial stability you just don't feel safe or comfortable in whatever that's going on right now yeah you want to take action you want to take small steps for some of you. This is just reaching out to someone or maybe you hope that someone will reach out to you. This is Virgo energy. This is Taurus energy. So some of you are definitely um, you are an earth sign, but you could be dealing with an earth sign or they have it in their chart. Yeah. And if you don't get what you want, you could lash out and it won't be pretty. It won't. 
let's see what's the current energy oh yeah you are being told no don't do that that's not the logical thing to do some of you are tired of doing the logical thing with the king of swords and this looks good this has gotten you where you need to be but I feel like I'm picking up on someone where you feel like you can't be emotional you you can't say what you really want to say you can't say what you really feel you always have to be on you all you have to uphold like a certain image and some of you this is really starting to show some of you could be in a bad mood some of you are going off on people being snappy um just being a jerk that's air energy aquarius libra gemini what did i say you're not happy some of you are not happy in the relationship or whatever it is that you have spent a long time trying to build this could be a career this could be a business some of you you have a business you just don't want to do like the day-to-day -day manual labor associated with this business you want someone else to do it um because you have other interests and it's not really making you happy what used to make you happy is, is it feels like a chore Someone could have been in your ear talking about you need to be patient. Everybody can't have what they want when they want it. But you're like, OK, so how patient am I supposed to be? How much patience do I need to give when it comes to this person? You know, how long is it going to take for this person to come around? How long is it going to take for this person to hear me and understand me? Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, this is also urging you to keep your cool, stay calm. Something significant could have happened in December, November of last year. So who who are you dealing with? <laughs> who are you dealing with? Could be dealing with a Leo, a Leo, someone who's in the public eye. They could be very popular. You could be like a um, popular, I hate to say Instagram couple, but you could be very popular. And let's see. They could be a Leo. I said that. More wands. They could be an Aries as well. They could be an entrepreneur as well. Or this is like a business partner. Or maybe even an investor that just won't, you know, they're not trying to hear whatever it is that you want to say. This is also someone who could be mad that you're trying to manifest um, something that is greater than what you have already accomplished. Because this person may feel slighted a little bit you know like if this is a romantic situation like we're already on top like you're the king i'm the queen like what are what are you trying to do like why are you trying to branch off and do something else look at our following look at our clientele look at our sales you know why do you want to do something different I was going to say, um, how do they feel? It's the emperor. This is more Aries energy. Some of you are definitely dealing with Aries. You can have Aries in your chart, like an Aries moon. They can be an Aries moon. This is definitely speaking to, to you out, to you Tauruses out there. You have your own business. Um, you are an entrepreneur. You are... A powerful and influential person in your community in your city in your town the emperor when it comes to feelings they don't really have feelings it is what it is 
um they're not happy either with the um four of cups in reverse and to be more specific they're not happy that you're not happy with them because why wouldn't you be happy with them she's a boss you know he's a boss like why wouldn't you be happy with me and some of you could be also dealing with someone that's making you feel guilty because maybe this person put you on maybe like I was saying before this person invested in your dream how do you feel you are about to <laughs> you are about to go off you are about to do something toxic um I'm a Taurus moon don't piss us off after we done been vulnerable to you and we done told you time and time again what we want and what we don't want don't dismiss us like that because then the horns have to come out you could be dealing with a Capricorn um you could also feel like the situation that you're in is you're bound to it like you can't easily get out of it it could be a contract it could be a spiritual contract um some of you you feel like it's it's punishment yeah you want to break free and you probably have already started doing small things towards this goal or towards whatever it is that you want to do to get out of this situation and um the person that you're dealing with, they, they may have no clue what your plans are. This person, the next action they're going to take towards you is I feel like in the near future, they will see what it is. OK, they'll see that with the hanged one in reverse you're not talking out the side of your neck you know exactly what it is that you're talking about you know exactly what it is that you want to do and what you want is not stupid it's not dumb it's not crazy you're not being delusional it is it, the truth you're living in your truth you could be dealing with a pisces oh okay so the outcome best case scenario right now ace of swords in reverse um seven of pentacles so this is basically talking about um if this is a relationship or a separation some of you will start to treat your partner or they will start to treat you as like a friends with benefits type situation you know like you all are separated but at the same time you know while you're trying to figure things out you could still have like a sexual relationship or you could be having a sexual relationship outside of the the marriage um i feel like if that's not the case, then you're playing the role. You're making this person feel like you're still trying to make your mind up and you could even lie to this person. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I mean, I'm thinking about applying to other places. I'm not sure. And they don't know you already done went on two interviews. You sending out your resume every day. So you could like operate under the guise of, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm undecided if I'm going to stay or not. But you already know the truth. Your advice is to, after you think about this, you're going to have to act on it. All this planning and plotting that you're doing, eventually you're going to have to act on it. And that may be the scary part. So spirit is urging you to stay prayed up. Be true to you. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could have it in your chart. Um, 
some of you are afraid to follow your intuition and spirit is telling you you need to okay Taurus I hope that was helpful um but yeah leave me a comment let me know what you think and I'll see you on the next one